All right, this lesson will be on accounts and passwords and the purpose of them. So the purpose of accounts is for authentication, authorization, and accountability. Uh, most commonly, you guys have probably seen your laptop if you set a login password. Um, essentially what your password doing is authenticating that you are the owner of your laptop. Um, authorization occurs more on a server side level at, the, at an organization um, that would basically verify that you are authorized to access the data or files that you are requesting. And accountability in the term of log files on a server, they will track what user is doing what. Um, so that's basically the most basic purpose of accounts. Um, now, strong passwords. Um, passwords are essentially used to verify that you are who you say you are. Um, in, in the form of a one-step authentication, they are not overly effective, but they are very, very popular. So you, here are a couple passwords and the example of how long it would take a desktop PC to crack them. So um, if your password is password, you should probably change it really soon. It's in the top 10 most commonly used passwords which essentially is also a uh, password that's instantly able to be cracked using a dictionary attack, and we'll talk about that in a later video. Um, simply replacing some characters with capital letters, symbols, or numbers, you can extend that same value password to uh, take about three days to crack that password. Um, now, for example, if you want to use a sentence, so my dog is Fido, for example, it would take about 10 days to crack. Um, if you want to make it longer, my dog's name is Fido. That would take 345,000 years to crack, um, unless you have someone that knows that your dog's name is Fido. So, essentially what that means is that length is greater than complexity. Um, you can find more about passwords at howtosecureismypassword.net, and I'll post a link to that as well.